Alright. Figured I'd do another video. It's kind of fun doing these. I don't even know if anyone's going to see them, but hey. If you do, it may help you out. Because I think I got these farms pretty, pretty, pretty put together. So they're a little easy to do. I'm going to do like kind of three levels of farms, basically. Kind of like a early game farm you can do more and then a mid game to it's still both of the the second two are both kind of mid game as you can see i haven't even unlocked really the late game area yet still working on it uh i'm just gonna focus on level up i mean i probably could possibly run this already but i, I just i like being prepared before i move in <laughs> so i always kind of over level a little bit but and I've enjoyed exploring this game. That's, I think that's what makes this game so great. I get lost. I end up trying to do something. And you're two hours deep into exploring some random place you've never been. <laughs> but we're going to do three levels here. So the first one, I could honestly, you can get here no skill. I don't I don't think there's anything special you have to get do to get to this area. I'm pretty sure you just ride through. Literally just ride through. You can take the if you know the teleporter trick. Um little teleporter right over here where's it at it's right next to here if you know that trick you can go ahead and take that and it's going to put you I, think, I believe it puts you out somewhere over here but you'll have to ride down this way or i believe you can just ride straight from here i don't think you have to do the teleporter at all but just keep running there's going to be enemies they may be too powerful for you but it's okay because you you just you don't have to fight anybody for this uh for this farm but you're going to run all the way down here you know, you could stop these sites of grace. It's definitely worth popping by them on the way, but um, you're going to hit Cal uh, Caliad, Kalid, I don't know how y'all pronounce it. I'm pretty sure I say it differently time too. But you're going to go to the Caliad Catacombs. No, I'm tripping. Don't go there. Go to the Impassable Great Bridge. Just <laughs> don't listen to what I just said. Go to the Impassable Great Bridge. So I already have it. I'm not going to run all the way over there. So, these farms work really well to help level you up early. Basically, you could do this first farm until you're high enough level to do the other farms, because the other two farms do work much better. You make more money anyways with less time, but they're more dangerous and harder to reach, too. Specifically, one of them, you're going to have to be a decent level to reach. But, so, whenever you first come to this area right here, you're going to have to ride through this field of enemies. Just run straight through, jump the little fence, and come get the side of grace. After you do that, all you have to do is hop on your hop on your torrent and we'll literally run over here. You're gonna hear somebody blow a horn, and then there's gonna be a big battle against the different types of enemies, the little dino dog things and the soldiers. But just to get the extra RP out of it, I like to add extra enemies. Come over here and get this bird's attention. May catch it a little bit if he does that, he'll probably die. But the uh, side of here. You come over here far enough though, and you get both this bird, you get this bird involved. And there you go. Now the bird's also gonna get killed. I think the bird gives you 2,000 bird points. So but then after you get the bird involved, you know everyone's fighting. Every time an enemy dies, that the runes go to you. So after that, you can come over here, and get these two dogs' attention. Be really careful when doing this. These dogs will mess you up. But you don't have to. Once you got their attention, you basically just run from them because they're fast. Don't keep them. So just bring, kind of attract them to the field, basically. Once they're distracted, I'm gonna come back over here. We've got two more enemies. We're gonna come through with this. So everyone's distracted. No one's focused on you. Now here's the last two you're gonna get. There's a dog up here. That white dog. Come over here. Wait a second so the black dog can catch up. If you can. You don't want to get behind and miss out on that XRP. Oh, or die. See, if you if you are low level and you just messed up right there, you may want to be careful doing this part. You don't have to. It's just I do it for the extra. But you're gonna bring them basically around this guy, so they're all gonna fight. So, after you get them all fighting, you're good, you don't, they're all distracted by everyone else, you really don't gotta work too much. I like to come sit up on this rock, it seems to be the safest, kind of stay behind here, and you literally wait. It's probably a 
15, 10 minute process each time, maybe a little less, I could be overdrawing it, waiting for all the enemies to finish fighting. But with the way I ran through and pulled the extra enemies through, normally it pretty much works out with there's only like three of the knights in the team. Normally the knights win every time, but normally like three knights left, all the dogs die. And you make, I don't know, around 18, maybe K, 15K each time. And so, and then once, you know, once they clear out, you can go finish the leftover enemies, go get whatever got dropped, and then you go hit the side of grace over there, again, and then just redo the process until you get, you, I don't know, you probably make a good 100k every hour-ish, maybe a little quicker than that, I could be, I'm not, I haven't done the exact math, but it's a good little, number. just easy for us to get. So that's a real early level farm you can do, you know, it's really no danger to it. After that, one, once you know you get to level 60-ish, I'd say, you can try to go through here. It's a tough area. This is going to lead to you finding Rod Radon, which is where I got this armor, actually, I think. Um, so you're going to be finding Radon. He's a tough battle, but you can cheese stick him. I'm not going to show you how. I'm sure you can find another video of it, but you, you, there's a bunch, you go out in this big desert area. I'm about to teleport there, and there's a bunch of summon areas summon a bunch of allies you basically need to ride around and you know just shoot at them really you don't even have to just get like a bow or some kind of incantation that shoots and just ride around and you know just shoot at them while you're while you're all your allies are distracting them and then even they're gonna die but you, if you keep running and keep dodging the, the boss you're gonna be able to resummon and wait for them to distract shoot you know um, another way a lot of people do this is getting a uh, um, was the rotten breath or Whatever it's called, that the stuff that makes you die, it takes like half his health back. You hit him twice with that rotten breath stuff, and it brings half his health, and you hit him two more times and kills the rest of the way. So it's a real, real easy way to defeat him as well. So I'm gonna, I'm skip past all that. I already beat him, so I'm gonna teleport to where you, the new uh, grace side of grace you get. So now this this farm is eh. I like it, but it's kind of risky. You're kind of, and it's slow, man. It's so slow. You make a lot of money. They, um, all of the enemies like involved in this one are, they give a lot of uh, runes. They just kind of take a minute to kill each other. But it's another kind of AFK, you know, no work really. Just more existing in the general area that enemies are fighting. In. So you're gonna run, a, run basically. Once you defeat him, you'll get that, and you'll have to. Teleport there to that side of Grace, and you're gonna have to run all the way to this back corner over here. It's a decent little trick. What you're looking for though is this right here, the War Dead Catacombs. It's basically another little cave. It's a cave you gotta fight in, like you know the little dungeons that you see all all throughout the, the plains between. It's just another one. Um, I don't think I've even defeated the boss out of here yet. I've only used this for farming, so I probably didn't need to go through and defeat the boss, but I've just been kind of focusing on getting my character to work. This, um, I've also been working a lot on uh, leveling up my weapons. I feel like it's something that gets left out a lot of times for when you first start the game, but it's something you can do from pretty early on. You know, once you have access to Storm, uh, the round, you know, Stormvale area, you should be able to upgrade your weapons pretty often. Uh, especially, oh god, I want to. Um, especially because all you really have to do is go to this little spot right here. Where'd it go? The crystal tunnels? Oh, there are so many smithing stones in there. It's ridiculous. You, I mean, it's a dangerous, it's a pretty dangerous little uh, dungeon area, but the amount of smithing stones in there, it's, it's ridiculous. And they're sombering smithing stones. They're, they're everywhere. Okay, so... Once you get over here, of course, you're gonna want to hit your side of grace. But you're gonna. And a big thing for this too, if you haven't already gotten it, is to get the mimic, the mimic veil. It does make this one a bit easier. But you're gonna come down through here. It's kind of good to go ahead and squat down. But you see all the enemies fighting. That's who you're waiting on to kill each other. You know. Um, one of the big things here, though, is also to wrap around. You wanna, when you're doing these kind of AFK farm room farms, you wanna make sure you involve as many enemies as you can. Safely, of course. You see how I walked over here and the new guy spawned? That's it. I just wanted him to spawn, so that kind of help. That's extra rooms I'll make. You gotta be careful doing this part, but if you can, if you are able to manage to stay up here, this is probably 
bleh, I'd say the safest area to sit, but really, really anywhere is good. It's just right here. I'm kind of like one of those people that doesn't trust, you know, these rune farms. Like, I feel like if I look away, then I'm going to quit making money. So here makes me feel like I'm in the center of everything where I don't have to worry about people dying and me getting up and you know? This is why the Mimic Skull is really important for this one, though, because, like, obviously, without the Mimic Skull, there's anything to do right And it just makes everything look different. These enemies, I can't, these enemies are powerful as shit. I mean, I can kill one, but, you know, they're difficult. They are difficult enemies. But you basically just sit here and you let them kill each other. This will go on for hours sometimes, too, because they are powerful enemies. But it's just kind of slow. You see, I haven't, I don't even think I've made money so I've made money yet. But, you see, they're no going now. It takes a minute, but it works itself down. It makes decent money off of it. And then now, we're going to go to my favorite one. This is a... I think that, I don't think you have to be a high level to get to this farm. I think it's something you're able to just kind of basically sprint to if you sprint really fast on a torrent. But it probably does help at least access in the area if you're a bit higher level than you see. I I know I don't have viewers, but <laughs> I already did a video for this once, um, so I'm just gonna include it in this video real fast. So this is the easily the best farm in the game. Um, it's in the underground area of the map. Um, if you j just look up a video on how to get to Dynasty Malus Mausoleum, um, it's a it's not too difficult. It's basically just running and activating a teleporter and then going through that teleporter. So um, once you get this area, it's in the underground area. Unlocked. You can teleport right here is where you're gonna start. So whenever you start, it's gonna kind of prompt you to run up towards this castle area. There's a part. There's a tough ass boss fight there. So you're better off turning around and coming this way. After you turn around, you're gonna you're getting you have to sprint. I mean, full on sprint because this little guy right here is gonna spawn skeletons and they're big and they are powerful. So sprint your ass off and run back to this corner over here to the uh, palace approach ledge. Room. I would probably say this is easily the most efficient farm I've found. I I'm sure there's a better one out there, but this one, it's, pff, there's nothing to it really. Um, really no chance of dying unless you just make a simple fuck up, and then you make a good amount of money. So right now, we'll see how much I make off it. We'll do two runs on it, just to see how much I make. So right now I'm at 126k on rooms, so let's see what we end up at. Fuck. I don't know about y'all, but I like my arrows to be shot with R1. It just doesn't feel right shot with R2. See, you shoot him, jumps off the map. First thing you want to do. That's an immediate 11,000. Yeah. Now, right after you do that, you want to hop on your torrent. You're going to run straight. See, all of these enemies get 2,000 rooms each, I believe. And then those guys that just ran at me into that loop, I think they get so once you get past them, you jump up on that rock right here. You want to get off your horse for this part because it's kind of tough uh, to not fall down. Not tough, but you just got to be careful. Well, you'll get down on this rock, and that's it. You literally just start shooting enemies down. They are going to kill themselves. So I'm at 137,000. Let's see what I end up at. After all these guys we won't do two runs. But uh, we'll see how much I put in that. So I was at 120 something. In the but once you shoot all the enemies, they'll start running at you, and they literally just run off the map right here. Like I, I know you can't see it because I'm looking away, but I'll show you. They fall off. So see what's there. They come to this corner, fall off. Come to this corner, fall off. They do have a ranged attack. Um, if you're real low level, it may kill you. If it does, the side of grace is right there. Go get it. Come get your money. Try, but they hard as you can see they don't melee often. It's very occasional. Or they don't uh, do a ranged attack often. Like he'll shoot needles out sometimes. And he's, uh, these other guys will occasionally like shoot the spit at you. Um, I mean it's powerful, but I uh, like I'm level 80 I believe and it doesn't kill it doesn't even get close to killing me, so like, they occasionally shoot me, but it's alright. Couple enemies left. See, that, you've seen how much health it took. That's it. 
so I just made 40,000 in uh, 